All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Drew here, thatanxietyguy.com, live with my good friend, Billy Cross. What's up, we're Bill? buffering. We're buffering. Because we're buffering. <laughs> we're, recording on, we're recording on my computer because Drew's having to change the scenery because we're doing this live tonight. We're doing this live for a change. We thought yes. we'd... Give us so a shot. Want... Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to hang for a second, wait for people to join. Wait for but... people to show up. Yeah, Because yeah. people usually think we're live anyway. Like when we do the watch parties and they think we're live. Yeah, yeah, we thought we'd like. I've got my Christmas tree lights on in the background there. Very festive. Where's your Santa hat? You should be wearing your your, your uh, plush, oh, your yeah. plush Santa hat. <laughs> you can't see because the camera's cutting it off. But the Santa hat's at the top of the tree because I haven't got a fair. Oh, for me. so oh, nice, nice. Thought you know. Yeah. Well, that yeah. hat is plush because it said so. It was very plush, mate. Very. <laughs> plush. Right there. They couldn't fit very on it, but it I is. can't. Uh, I I can't see who's in with us. Is it showing you who is? I'm joined? not seeing anything. Wait, see. let me just. I'm not seeing any any comments yeah, or anything. Type a comment, and I'll tell you if I see it. Just see if it pops up. Like just testing. Yeah. 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 yeah, I see that. yeah I see that. There you are. There you are. Yeah. Yeah. Testing. Okay, so I can see you. You can see me. We can't see anybody. The little <laughs> eye thing is showing me like six people, but for some reason I can't see. Okay. I, I don't know if anybody's saying anything. This is my computer for you. That's what happens. British technology. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we, we usually pause, don't we, at the start of the video, but we thought, well, we'll just hang for a sit. And it's coming back to bite us. Technology's yeah. killing us anyway. Six, I guess I should put my glasses on so I can see. So you think we should maybe come clean at this point? <laughs> yes, all right maybe we, we are should. not we're not live we're recording <laughs> ah, we're jokers <laughs> it's just a prank it's just a we prank can't... yes you guys, you guys all laugh at our expense all the time so we figured we yeah, had to we turn, the time, turn the tables yeah. a little this was my idea you'll Very be pleased cool. to know <laughs> that's, how, that's exactly right full creative credit goes to yeah, billy yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> i think it was a good idea so what are we talking about today, dude? We're going to talk about holiday well, but, shopping, right? Yeah, yeah. It's this time of general. year. It's like, yeah, because it's crazy busy out there at the minute. Yeah. And I, I think this, yeah, especially so shopping in general is something that people struggle with a lot, mm -hmm. you know, going to the supermarket. I am so tired of talking about the supermarket. I am never going to say the word supermarket. When we're done with all this, I'm done talking about the supermarket. We can um, always talk about the post box if you want, what, if you want to go. There. Yeah, we got to sh shift that up a little. But anyway, people struggle <laughs> going to those places that, you know, go into these shops, the supermarket, the shopping malls. This time of year, Christmas time, uh -huh. get, it uh -huh. probably gets 10 times worse because it's just so crowded. Right. I mean, it's Saturday, Saturday morning here in New York as we're recording. I mean, to go to the, sh the mall, which is like, I think it's about five miles from my house. That yeah, place yeah. will be jammed. Just getting there, driving there, you'd be stuck in traffic to get to it. Oops. You just froze oh. on me, dude. You're dead. I'm on. Oh. Yeah. So I, I didn't know. Yeah. Now you're We'll just carry on. Now. We'll carry on. Just carry That's on. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll edit what you got to edit, I guess. Yeah, we'll wing it. Um, live. This is live. Yeah. This is, this is the way it goes. So I think, like, to go to the shopping mall that's, like I said, about five or six miles from my house, normally, like, if on a Thursday night it would take you, you know, 10 minutes to get there. Today mm -hmm. it would get it would take probably 45 minutes to drive into that mall. Yeah, it's Christmas just sitting season. in traffic, yeah. The traffic getting in, you're, you're stuck at red lights, you're in traffic jams, and then you get into this crazy, incredibly crowded shopping uh -huh. mall. Uh -huh. so, so I'm sure it makes it 10 times worse. But you did some shopping. Let's talk about it. I did, I did. It's like about your experience. It. Yeah, I've done it twice. Outstanding. Tonight. Outstanding, by the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. The last much. time we recorded, you said, I said, do it again. You're like, all right, I'm going to do it. You freaking did it. I did do it again. It was awesome, it was so, yeah. It was mad. Like, I didn't feel any different the second time. It was just as difficult. I was feeling, in fact, I would say the, the sensations were even more freaking difficult to handle. But it was right. just that I, I said in the video, like, I just weren't reacting. Because this the second time that I went, I went straight to the far end of the store and just... Like did what I needed to do, going down the aisles that I didn't go down last time. Right. And the sense, like I was getting this overwhelming feeling of just I need to get out. I need to get out. Like yeah. how how am I gonna? If I make that decision to get out, I know that my legs are gonna just go to mush. Right. And it's gonna be so crazy intense. So I just thought, well, instead of doing that, then instead of making that decision that's gonna make me feel like that, let's yeah. just stand here. Yeah. Like I'm I'm already standing here. I haven't gone to mush. So let's just see what happens if i don't yeah. react and that was it and you didn't but so were those the same feelings so the week before you did the same trip to the same shops right uh -huh. your dad. yeah yeah it was exactly like, the same same exact feelings right and yeah, so, yeah pretty much and, and the first trip you know you kind of 
you know, he went in and paid for the the fuel, and and you you mentioned yeah. it on the video. So if you guys haven't watched those videos, you got to watch them. Yeah, yeah, Harrison yeah. is really good. Uh-huh. But and he did the checkout and everything. So what's the difference? Same feelings. What was the difference? That's a good question. I, was good I question. mean, was was it in how you reacted to them? Yeah, it was just I was determined to not not give it the the power this time. I think that yeah. was the only difference. I was prepared to just go through it, whatever. Like, and as and soon as as soon as I made the decision that I'm prepared, I'm not running out of here. Like, it, right. it, it, it did become easier after that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's exactly yeah, yeah. what's supposed to happen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was just that battle. Like, it was all in my head. Like, the physical sensations were just the same as last time. It was no worse. It was just yeah. that my reaction to it was like, I don't give a shit what happens. So I think, like, you know, the topic today of shopping and especially holiday shopping, that what yeah, you yeah. just said is huge. Like, what's the what's the difference whether there's five people in the shop with you or 500 people in the shop with you? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, so what, what is the problem? So you say like the sensations were no worse or, yeah, it was or the same. better. They were the same. Right. So but I, incident, I incidentally, it's like the same sensations that I feel at home now. Anyway, like I've had a shitty week this week, which yeah. we'll get into in a bit. Yeah. But it's the same. It's the same. So what difference does it make whether I run out of a shop, I run into the shop, I stand, I'm standing at the checkout. It's, it's all the same in it. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I, I get it. And I think that's such a big thing because I, I think we're talking about shopping and now specifically holiday shopping. People yeah, yeah. have this feeling like, well, holiday shopping is going to be much harder, much worse. Yeah, but yeah. That's not real. Like in a way, just because there are more people in the shop or more people in the mall or it's, you have to sit in traffic to get there. You're still yeah, solving the same problem. It doesn't matter. Here's, here's how you should think about it. Like, yeah. yes, there's more people in the shop, but guess what? There's more people that suffer with anxiety in the shop at the damn same time as you. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> yeah. that, you know what? In a way, you could flip, that, you could flip it too and say like, there's more people with anxiety issues in the shop with you. Yeah, yeah. And, but there's also more people that you could just, you can look to complete strangers as like, yeah, well, yeah. what is that guy doing? Uh-huh, he's uh-huh. just like, he's just pushing his, his cart and uh-huh. he's not doing anything. Like, let me just act like that guy's acting. Mm. So those people could be models in a way. You could model yeah, yeah. their behavior. I'm just going to do what that guy's doing. Even though I want to leg it out of here, I'm going to just do what that guy's doing. You, know? you, you can pretty much guarantee that there's someone's, well, not guarantee maybe, but there might be somebody else somewhere looking at you thinking, how are they doing that? I, like, right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to model myself on them. Who looks it's, calm? It, and It's quite possible. It's quite possible. Because yeah, in the, yeah. sec- the second video, the second trip that you did, uh-huh. uh, like the successful one or whatever you called it, the, the sequel, that was great. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, if you looked at those two videos, you didn't mm-hmm. really look much different at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you stood uh-huh. there or you stood there. Um, uh-huh. At one point, you did push the cart backward, like, a couple of feet. Was that on that purpose? You. I did that for you. <laughs> I, 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 I was I, walking I, backwards. <laughs> back <and> backwards. <laughs> I saw that. I'm like, this is so funny. I know this is an inside joke. <laughs> but, um, so, like, you know, you didn't look any different. So yeah, I, I think it's super important to, you know, to kind of bring it back to the topic of I know if you struggle with shopping and going into the shops and stuff like you're solving the same exact problem as this, the problem we talked about last time being on yep. an airplane or traveling or mm-hmm. the problem we talked about in the car, or the problem we talked about in the restaurant. Same, same problem, same problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the holidays don't make it. You think it makes it worse. There are more people. So it would be harder for me to do this. Mm-hmm. But I think in the end, like I think the sensations are always the same. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's in your head. You think like, oh, this is going to be worse because it's more people. I get more overwhelmed. I get more afraid. Your yeah, yeah. reaction is probably more intense. But uh-huh. the sensations, like your body can only do what it can do. Yeah, yeah. It's because you're focusing on it more, isn't it? That's the... Right? Or you're anticipating it or you're saying yeah, this yeah. is going to be harder. And uh-huh. I think what's harder then is your reaction to it. You react more strongly to it. Yeah, but yeah. Your legs are either working or not working. They can't be any more wobbly. Like they're either wobbly yeah, or they're yeah. not. Would you agree with that? I mean, yeah. Well, in in all the years that I've attempted to do anything, they've never given out on me. Yeah. Like as weak as they felt, they still or, get me wherever I need to go. I think, the, and the point too. I, I mean, that's true. They've never actually given out. So we talk about that all the time. But the sensation itself. So let's relate this to the fact that holiday shopping would be harder because the crowds are bigger. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, when your legs feel weak, which I know is like that's a, a common thing for you that you struggle with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a binary thing. You either feel that or you don't feel that. It's uh-huh. not like they felt much weaker this time. It's always yeah, the yeah. same week. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So, so somehow, but in our heads, we think, well, since the crowds are bigger, uh, my legs will be weaker or my mm-hmm. stomach will be more yeah, upset yeah. or yeah, my, yeah. Uh-huh. like, no, you're just going to have that same set of symptoms are identical every single situation you're in. There's no severity. The severity is how you react to it. Mm-hmm. so Agree. who cares how many people are in the mall 
the same yeah, as going on a Tuesday night in July. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps yeah. the only the only difference might be that you have to spend a bit longer in the queue, like yes, check out. That's true. That's also true. So but then, what what yeah, difference you, does time make if you're in there? Like it's same, not, it's exactly. The time doesn't make any difference because so there are more people. So you're right. It'll be slower to get to the store. It'll be slower to to check out. But if you care about the time, it's because you still think, well, this yeah, is the yeah. magic is when I get to leave. I yeah, have to yeah. get out, uh -huh. and th that's that's not that's wrong. So. Mm. Mm. You're actually better served having to wait in that checkout line. Yeah, yeah, and and deal with it mm -hmm. than you are like where it's, oh I did it and it wasn't it wasn't crowded I was able to get out fast so thank God but like no that's I wrong. did I did do that on the video I was like saying to my dad let's just let's just get in the queue so we can get out of here yeah so I yeah. I was still thinking about it because I was still worried about it like it was yeah, yeah. it was still there but I but, I still did it that was the thing. And, but I think that's that's a good point. So like you did it, and your sequel was so much more of a successful and productive trip. Mm -hmm. But and so you were still thinking, let's just get in the queue so we can get out of here. I mean, so there's some element of like, can we just get the hell out of here? Like everybody feels yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Nobody yeah. wants to wait in line. But the <laughs> other thing is, so maybe you were still thinking like I want it to be over. But that was one trip. Like, yeah, yeah. You had had a, a kind of a wobbly trip the week before. You this mm -hmm. was the second one. Like it. And like people make that mistake too. Like, well, I did my one trip to the mall, so I must be okay now. I'm, I'm good yeah, at shopping. Yeah, yeah. Good like, point. Kind of not. You yeah, gotta yeah. do it again and again yeah. and again. Yeah. So I suppose uh, I that think... even that even the fact that I was prepared to go and line up, like if I'd have bailed out of there, it still would have been a successful attempt in a way, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, right. I'm just stepping it up every time that I do something. That's the that's yeah. the key. Or and maybe every day... just yeah, doing well... this, at least at least doing the same thing again and again. Yeah. But, yeah. But... Every time you do it, like, I think you do, let me think about this. So, like you said, you stood in the checkout line, you engaged, I mean, not that you had a conversation, but you intentionally did things that I, well, I mean, you got to pay, you got to do all the stuff that you do yeah, in the checkout yeah, line, yeah. but, but it seemed like when you're talking about it afterwards that you were intentionally like trying to make sure you were like, going to go through the routine of checking out as opposed to, I just had yeah, yeah. out. Yeah. 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 It's been so long since I've gone through a checkout yeah. process. But yeah. but every time you do those trips, like if you just kept going back to that shop, you would probably find, I know you would, because I know you a long time, you would yeah. find a reason to stay in there longer and longer and longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. You know? yeah, yeah. And then you you know when you get to the point where you're just like wandering aimlessly through the store just yeah. to stay in it. And it's like, yeah, oh, yeah. I guess I'm, I'm good with this now. That's yeah, when yeah. you know that you're yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, that, that thing where we ascribe like it's going to be crowded, so this is going to be worse. Mm -hmm. That's just a logical failing in a way. Yeah, yeah. So how do we, you know, so what are you supposed to do? Like, it, it always comes back to how do I, how do I deal with, you know, shop holiday That's shopping? How, yeah, yeah. What do you do? Just do it. <laughs> Again, same answer. Okay, video's done. We're, we're yes. finished now. Like, video's done. Like, what do you do? You work at it. When you don't want to go Christmas shopping or whatever holiday shopping during the holidays, then, then you go shopping during the holidays. And yeah, honestly, yeah. the other thing is, you know, the holidays happen once a year. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're so inclined that you celebrate these holidays and you're in that like we are, then, you know, between Thanksgiving and Christmas or in the, in the U.S., late November and, you know, and Christmas, that's that season, the the busy shopping season where a lot of people are yeah, out. It's like, so. it's like you've said in, in past videos, like, don't just expect to have not gone shopping for 11 months and then you can just go and do holiday shopping. Like, it, it, yeah. Do, yeah. Do some shopping in freaking March. So I know we're recording in December, so of course people are in the thick of it, and you haven't been able to go out shopping for 11 yeah, yeah. months. Right. How do you do it now? Well, you just kind of do it now. You do the best you can. Yeah, but yeah. come January, get out there. Start doing yeah, the yeah, shopping start. again. Start By the time yeah. the next holidays yeah. roll around, you, will, you won't watch need this video anymore. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's just like everything else. Like the thing you're most afraid to do, start doing it. Build that behavior. Build that skill little by little, slowly by slowly. And, you know, over the course of – Three or four months, you can completely smash the fear of being out shopping. Mm -hmm. I believe, I believe that. I mean, as opposed, well, maybe it would be different if you decide you're going to go shopping in Paris. We have to fly there, and, and then shop. <laughs> that might be different. One day, one day. But what's the difference? You know, at some point, I literally, I do, I do believe that that particular fear. I can't go in into the Walmart or the ASDA or wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Like, if you worked at it within a couple of months, you, you would, you could be fine with that like uh, the deepest part of the biggest asda you have would be like nothing yeah, even yeah. Though, what is it hell on earth i believe it was hell on earth has the quote hell on earth. that's their marketing <laughs> slogan yes hell on earth. but you know 
I mean, we deal with it here. Same thing. We have this giant wall here in the U.S. Walmart. Walmart yeah, has yeah. stores that are like they need their own zip codes. They're enormous. Yeah, yeah. And so people, you know, they can, well, I can go in, but I can't go all the way to the back of the store. Like, yeah, yeah. If you work at it in a couple of months, you'd be like camping back there. You yeah, well, stay I've, I've done it. Like I've been there, so I know, and, and you've obviously been there. But I've, yeah, I've yeah. been there. I've done it. Been to the back of the store. Yeah. So. Uh, Maybe let's talk about like the mechanics of it. So, okay, now you're having a hard time sh- getting in the shops, whether or not it's, I know you've been through this. I know you've done this. Like, and I've done Go it. On. Whether it's July or the middle of December. So if there's nobody mm-hmm. in the shop or there's or the stores packed full of people, the same mm-hmm. thing. So I can relate my experience. There was down the way for me, if you're if in the US, you know CVS. You guys don't have CVS in England. I've heard of it's it. A, it's, a, it's a pharmacy, drugstore, one of those yeah, places. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you could go get your prescriptions filled and also buy a can of motor oil. Like they, uh-huh. yeah, it's one of those places. So it's not a big shop. They're, none of them are big. They're all smaller shops. You can mm-hmm. walk from one end to the other in a minute and a half. Super yeah, yeah. easy. So there's one down the road for me. I'm not joking, a mile away. Maybe a mile and a quarter, maybe, probably mm-hmm. a mile. And I remember I had to use that as my practice point. So yeah, yeah. I, I think I... I remember actually talking to you about this because I made a video about it years ago. And one day I will find all these and maybe put them up. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was home. I was in that worst time, the worst possible time, like when you and I first met. And my daughter was sick. She was young. Mm-hmm. And she had an ear infection. And, you know, I, her, she needed the, her medication. She needed her medicine. Like, yeah, what yeah. am I going to do? So I was home. Like my mother was here because my mother lives upstairs from us. So mm-hmm. she could hang out with, with my daughter, which was fine. But then somebody had to go pick up the medication. Yeah. And, and I remember so clearly uh-oh. thinking like, oh, right. Like, OK, I'm going to have to go and do that. Yeah, yeah. And But what am I supposed to do? Like, I'm her dad. I'm not going to say, oh, well, I'll have to wait till your mom gets home. Like, I can't go. Like, no way was I doing that. So uh-huh. I remember getting in the car and going into that CVS. And like, you have to go all the way to the back. Mm-hmm. Right away from this to get the, and I got the stuff. And I remember being in there and saying, okay, I'm just going to walk up and down the aisles. And yeah, I yeah. literally was looking at my watch, like I'm just, just for two minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I just did that. And I remember how hard it was, but yeah, then, yeah. I, and then I went and I paid and I, and I bought a couple of little things just to do it and getting in the car and literally like, Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> and then I remember I was shaking. And, and so what I wound up doing is I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do now. And I would go, maybe not every day, because I had other things I was working on at the same time, but yeah, I would yeah. go into that store and I would say, like, all right, I'm going to go and buy razors. I'm going to buy toothpaste. Mm-hmm. Like, we were stupid with toothpaste. For a while. You ran out of yeah. razors. I, well, I hadn't. I have now, yes. Yeah, I yeah. In a while. <laughs> but I would like, think of something to buy or something, you know, whatever. I'll buy something at the store. Or, or go yeah, yeah. and not buy anything. I remember once uh-huh. I bought a little candle, you know, just whatever. Just something. Um, just to do it. And I remember I just did it three, four times a week, I would go in there and just sort of slowly wander through the place. Mm-hmm. And it became easier and easier to just, then finally, when we get to the point, I'm not going to go there anymore. It's just stupid. And then yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I started to go. And honestly, it would became super easy. Then I would like, all right, well, another quarter mile down the road or half mile down the road was the big supermarket. And I started mm-hmm. going in there to shop. Yeah, yeah. I remember so, some of those videos. I yeah. Remember I remember you just, just, I remember you just parking up and just having a walk around like the outside. Yes. Down the place. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and that's what I did. So how would you do it? You build it little by little, little yeah, yeah. by little, little by little. And then you know, a couple of months later, it was fine. I was, I was in the supermarket. It was, and it didn't bother me anymore. Yeah. yeah. So it, as long as they were close, those stores are close to home. That's yeah, yeah. another story. But I remember once um, I got, uh, cause I was still working when my, like at the heat of my, the height of my panic and that, and I, I got a job. It was like, as a warehouse stores person. And the the manager of the place wanted me to go and buy a mop and a bucket from Asda, so he sent me out. Like I went in the van and I was freaking out about it. But yeah, I went in, yeah. I went in and did it. But it was like the first time I'd been in there in years, and I was right. Jesus Christ, man, that was so difficult. But what could I do? Go back to my new boss and say, oh, I just can't do it. I'm yeah, sorry. I don't. Sorry, I can't. I'm afraid <laughs> yeah. to go into the Asda. But you know Anywhere what it does else? is. Right. Anyway, is there anywhere else you could send me? Someplace else must have a mop in a bucket. And and believe me, I can relate to those times. I remember also posting a video one night with my two girls. They were little, taking them Christmas shopping to buy a gift for their mom. Yeah, yeah. And thinking and thinking like, where can I take them? That's yeah. I can get to. Just a little. Isn't there a drive through <sighs> gift shop? Yes. Like, how about a, you know maybe like a cheeseburger from McDonald's we could just drive through. <laughs> just again, I remember those days and thinking like. So I know that people can relate. It's exactly what you just said. Yeah, what, yeah, what I said, like, oh, I just, you know, you find ways to work around it. Or you yeah. get into those patterns. It's like, well, I could go to this shop. Yep. I could go to these two shops. Yeah. And yeah. I'm good. 
Yeah. So you just, how do I, is you just work on it all the time. Like mm -hmm. You just keep doing it again and again and again. But you don't go from, I haven't been to Walmart in two years, to like, I'm going to go camp in the furthest section of the 700,000 square foot. You don't do that in one day. And you in don't like run section. through what Right. And you don't go running through Walmart, you know, for like a frantic 18 minutes, leave there and say, I did it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't have to go there again for three months. You didn't solve anything doing that. So you just, yeah, yeah. You just have to make it a priority to make it a skill, like practicing an instrument or a language. It's mm -hmm. the same answer every freaking time. God, um, haven't, you, haven't you picked it up yet? Haven't you picked it up yet? <laughs> no, it's, you don't. It takes us a long time to pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Tell me scary. about it. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk for two seconds because I started to get a little more focused on like, so how do I, okay, you go to the store every day and you practice. But yep. when you're in the shop and you start to feel that way, like what did you actually do? You made a statement that was brilliant when you got back in the car and you said, I can't control the thoughts, but I can control how I act yeah, yeah, when yeah. I think that. that so. Was it. So I'm going to ask you the same question that I get asked all the time. Oh, what what does that look like? Like, what were you actually? What was the mechanism that you used to say to not react to that? I think it was just noticing that I was having those thoughts. That was the thing. Like, whereas usually it's all one. Like the thoughts and the actions are so closely linked. Usually, like the, right. you get the flashing thought and then you act instantly. Yeah. But be because the thoughts were already happening when I went in there, I sort of recognized that I was just having them. Okay. And uh, and I just I was just noticing them. That was the difference. Yeah. So noticing the thoughts yeah yeah i was like yeah. i wasn't arguing with the thoughts i wasn't trying to stop the thoughts i was just yeah. like okay i see that's i see what's happening but i'm not going to do anything about it let's just right. see what happens so what you're essentially doing I, I think if i'm describing it well is you're actually breaking the connection between the thought and the behavior yeah yeah like, definitely because yeah, it would yeah. be one like you have that like i gotta get out of here and boom you start to leg it out yeah like, yeah exactly yeah. yeah because people often say like what comes first the thoughts or the feelings and stuff like that and for me, like I know, I now know that it's the, always the thoughts. It's always okay. the thoughts. Yeah, it's yeah. always the thoughts. Yeah, yeah. I think that there's a real chance that for everybody, it's always the thoughts. Yeah, but yeah. But a lot of people so. will say no, it's the, the feelings. I would, I would always say no, it was the feelings for me. Mm -hmm. You know, the sensations. Yeah. But yeah. I, in retrospect, I think it's probably always the thoughts. Yeah, yeah. And like, you know, I've done those meditation videos with Susan and mindfulness stuff. She talks about all the time the thoughts, and then I did the one with Monique, which yeah, yeah. you know, that one. But and she said the same thing. You have a thought, then you have a feeling, and it manifests itself. And you know what? The more you yeah, think yeah. about it, probably, and that's why we call it cognitive behavior therapy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but what you did is you let the thoughts be, and you decoupled them from the behavior. Yeah, Even yeah, though they definitely. used to come like boom, boom, almost instantly, you couldn't tell yeah, them yeah. apart. Yeah, that's it. yeah. So, a mechanism that I've started to tell people to use, and and I will fully credit Susan for for kind of bringing this into focus on the meditation mm -hmm. stuff is. That uh, like I, it's kind of a four step thing that I've been telling people, and maybe it's useful. I don't know. I love the three D cool. when you vape into the camera. That's awesome. I did that on purpose. I, I, I want to do this. Like, yeah, oh. dodge. <laughs> but um, what I've been telling people to do is it's like four steps. So number one, slow down. Like mm -hmm. we we want to speed up, and you start running around and rushing everything you're doing. Yeah, because yeah. you get in that state. So slow down. Number two is find where the tension is in your body and let it go. Mm -hmm. So I think Angel you in the group said ragdoll. So yeah, yeah. slow down, ragdoll it, like mm -hmm. as relaxed as your body can get, which is the opposite of what you want to do. And then to me, it's always, I've been using, just get your focus. So instead of your focus being on your thoughts, put your focus in another place and that can be your breath. So yeah, yeah. Like, like that thing where you bring your focus back to the tip of your nose where you're mm -hmm. not because it stops the panic, but just because it, it gives you something else to look at. And I, then the fourth is then you let the thoughts scream at you like you did. Yeah. Yeah. Let yeah, yeah. Be there. Yeah. Fine. Yell at me all you want. Uh -huh. And so I kind of think of it as, oh, if I visualize it physically, it's like, so I'm standing in the, in the supermarket in this frozen food section at Walmart and I feel this thing where I want to run and I'm terrified and I'm dizzy and all these things. And I think, well, imagine if those thoughts are here and they're screaming in your face and I'm going to look at them and I'm literally just going to turn my head away, like scream in my ear all you want. I'm just going to yeah, do yeah. this, like right uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. And what I have found is people that are seem to be using those steps are giving me good feedback on that, that like, yeah. Oh yeah. The minute I do that, I almost feel an instant, not relief. It doesn't go away, mm -hmm. but an instant sense of control again. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if that helps at all, or if that's even close to what you're doing, but you know, yeah, yeah. I think it, I just, I, I'm not thinking too, like it's weird. I'm not thinking too much about what I'm doing. I'm just noticing. Yep. I'm just re I'm just recognizing the signs of the stuff. Yeah. Yes, but because I'm doing it more now, because I'm going out more, and it becomes automatic. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting back into the swing of like pushing yep. myself. Yeah. But 
And do you find that there's a little bit of a sense of, and like I said, the feedback I'm getting is not really almost relief, but more control. Like yeah, yeah. when they, they do those steps, relax and just back to the, you know, turn their back on the thoughts a little bit. Yeah. Like yeah. They almost feel that like, all right, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm good. This is, I'm in control think, a little bit here. Yeah. The thing with me is that it just comes in waves. Like I'll yeah. go, I'll do that. I'll, I'll feel like I'm in control of it for a yep. second and, and then, then I'll that. take, yeah, take a few more steps and then it's like, oh shit. Like there's another thought. Yeah we're, go, yeah, we're going again. But that's a really good point because you have to keep doing that again and again and again. Yeah, yeah. So it's if not you just use that thing, yeah. right? It's not, if you it's do not that just focus once thing, done. whatever my four steps, and they're fast. Boom, 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 boom. You do them. Yeah, yeah. But if you do that, you have to keep doing it again and again <laughs> and again because <laughs> that that anxiety, those thoughts are going to keep screaming, yell, 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 yeah, yell, yeah. yell. And so you turn your head, and then oh, you look again. You got to turn your head again. Then again, again, <laughs> you have to keep turning away from them. And yeah, that's yeah. pretty much like yeah. So the waves totally normal. But yeah. I think as you go on, there'll be less, there'll be more space between the waves and less uh -huh. waves. Yeah, yeah. So you might have to do it once or twice, then maybe only once, then then you won't have to do it. You'll just yeah, be norm yeah. exactly. regular and normal in Asda and hell on earth. So I don't know about imagine. That. Imagine. Cool. So, I mean, I don't know. Normal? I'm not sure if we've given people what they are looking for here, but that's how. How do I overcome holiday shopping? Yeah. Go holiday shopping. Shop when it's not the holidays all year round. So yeah, when yeah, the holidays practice. come along, it's it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. And like understand the techniques of being in an uncomfortable situation and not letting it get away from you. Just yeah, feel yeah. what you gotta feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you did that thing where you went and you said, like, you can't I think at one point you looked in the camera, you're like, I can't go any further into the store than this. You were in the deepest part of the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The but, back and, wall. It was pretty funny. Yeah. I I got to the back wall and I was just gonna go around the next aisle. Like right. and just like celebrate my little victory, and then there was a woman walking towards me, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Just turned around and I was like, I'm "Not filming, not filming." <laughs> Do not call the authorities. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't like can relate oh, to that. <laughs> um, but I, I think that thing where you got to the back wall, and you're like, "Well, I'm here. This is this." Mm -hmm. But there was the look to me, and maybe I'm just interpreting because of my own thing. But like, there was almost a sense of that. So I'm not going to use the word centering or grounding there. Like, yep, I'm here. Look, I'm yeah, here. Yeah, it was just like, yeah. whoa. Right. That, was easier. that was easier than I thought. Right. Was, so yeah, yeah. so instead of going to the back wall and being consumed with, whole oh, shit, I'm at the back wall. Oh, my God, yeah, what yeah. am I doing here? I can't believe this. this is horrible. I hate this. It yeah, was just yeah. like, oh, you got there. You oh, may have had yeah, those yeah. thoughts and feelings. Yeah. And it was like, well, but I'm here. I'm like, oh, there maybe that no, wasn't so bad. There's no boogeyman at the back of the store. There's what no the monster in the back of the yeah. store. Who knew? I could have sworn he was there. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then it was interesting, too, when you, you went down the ways. I mean, I'm sure you've, I don't know if you watch your own videos back ever, but. Yeah, only 40 times. Oh, yeah. there you go. Oh, that's right. Because you're, like, <laughs> you're vain. That was one of the funniest things you've ever said. I like looking at myself because I'm vain. Um, when you got back, but it, it's a good tool when you watch them back, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Helpful, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then you, you were only, it looked on the video like maybe 20 feet from the back of the store. Uh -huh. And you turned around and you looked and you were like, I can't believe I was there. Yeah, yeah. Which is probably no further than double the size of the room you're in now, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's mad. yeah. But it but it matters. And you are there. Yeah, right? yeah, it's mad. Yeah, yeah. 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 So what's next? What's gonna happen next? Like oh, fuck me. I don't know. I know. <laughs> I know. Well, so let's, Wait, you wanna talk Yeah, I've had a shitty week, so like everybody knows I didn't do the live stream Thursday. I don't know if you knew. I didn't do the live stream I Thursday. And well, I, I knew I, you were feeling under the weather. So yeah, yeah. Pe okay. So people probably thought it, it was because it was my birthday and I was going out for dinner. And that. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you were supposed to go out for your birthday. Yeah. That got ruined, did. didn't it? Yeah, I didn't do anything. So I had a crazy mad vertigo spell on Wednesday. Like similar oh. to the one that happened a couple of years ago, which kept me in bed for a week after yeah. it. But I, I had it. And then Thursday I was up and about like as normal. So it's kind of a success because I think this is becoming an issue for me now. I think like the vertigo thing. Well, I was saying to you, yeah. I don't know if I did. I think I told you that um, I think my very first ever panic attack was maybe a vertigo attack. Like because I remember I called my dad because I was stuck on the bathroom floor. couldn't move because yeah. everything was spinning. So I think, you know, maybe there's yeah. a, yeah. there's an issue there with vertigo for me. And it's kind of because people do say like it can trigger panic attacks and anxiety disorders and that so oh hell yeah it can yeah yeah I, maybe I, you know we should this is important like you have actual vertigo i get it every few yeah, months yeah. i get a vertigo attack 
Uh-huh. And so when people talk about dizzy, like it's it's important that I say like Billy did not go out for his birthday because he was just feeling dizzy. Yeah, yeah, no, it was... like like this is real vertigo where the, literally the room is spinning. That's not That's anxiety. Horrible. That's a problem with your inner ear. That's a yeah, real yeah. physiological thing. Yeah. So and yeah, vertigo. But it was it's kind of mad because like sitting here now, like I'm I've still been feeling like I'm feeling the anxiety dizziness now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and I have been for the last two or three days since it happened. Yeah. But like for an hour, I was experiencing vertigo. Like that was horrible. But this was, is kind of, like I can notice the difference now. Yeah, like, I've, I've seen my bedroom spinning. Yeah. So I know I know that what I'm experiencing now is like it's just me. Like I'm just feeling anxiety dizziness, which is completely different because nothing's spinning. It's just well, like, sometimes you know people get not annoyed but you know when, when they were like well I, I couldn't you know i couldn't do that because i was so dizzy it felt like i was going to fall over and i always say like no like were you yeah, physically yeah. unable to get up because you fell over well yeah, with yeah. vertigo you physically are not able to get yeah, up yeah. stuck on your bathroom floor because yeah. everything is spinning you cannot stand up physically you i was can't. gripping i was gripping onto the side of my bed because i was doing the epley maneuver to myself like yeah. trying to sort it out and it was i had i physically had to grip my bed the tightest that i could because i felt like i was tipping off it like yeah. it was it was crazy but in, in that situation that felt like and i always say like never say what it felt like because that's not real but actually yeah, yeah. with vertigo when there's yeah, the crystals yeah. in your ear or like floating uh-huh. around or whatever that is no the to, your eyes are telling you this bed is literally spinning and tipping yeah, yeah. Yep. so it's very different than what you're feeling yeah, yeah. now it's yeah. way more intense man way more intense but it's kind of it's given me a i don't know like last last time it happened i was in bed for a week this yeah. time I, I got up the day after and i'm sort of I don't know whether it's because I'm on my own and I have to get up like my daughter can't take herself to school. You know what I mean? So I've got to. So it's kind of a good thing in a way that I've got to just face this shit because last week I didn't have vertigo. last week. Sorry. When it happened like two years ago, I didn't have vertigo for a week. I had vertigo. I had a vertigo spell and I was freaked out by it for a week. And that's why I didn't move. Whereas this time I recognized that I had a vertigo spell and I was up up and about the next day like the next day yeah yeah yeah, yeah you were saying actually yeah you, you were telling me the next day that you were out which was great yeah, it was yeah. you're feeling better yeah, so i, I think driving. And, and so driving even imagine like <laughs> yeah, that seems fuck. crazy crazy to me like <laughs> yeah. it does seem crazy to me because that vertigo is tough when i get it it's really hard i mean for yeah, me yeah. it goes away usually in a couple of hours yeah, yeah but um but i also i think the difference is some of the anxiety that you can feel after that is because you're worried like is it gonna happen again it might feel Am I dizzy yeah, yeah, now? Definitely. What if That's I move my is. head again? Yeah. yeah. And I get that too. Like if you hurt, same thing, like if you hurt your knee or something, you know, mm-hmm. you'd be a little bit worried about like getting on the treadmill and running. Like, is this going to hurt mm-hmm. again? Like that's mm-hmm. kind of normal. It's like having an mm-hmm. injury. I get, uh, every once in a while I get ocular migraines. So I don't know if anybody's ever had an ophthalmic migraine, which Probably. is, you basically um, go, go kind of blind <laughs> so literally in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, like if you look into the light bulb or the sun, you yeah, get yeah. that spot in your eye. Well, a family migraine is that happens and then it doesn't go away. It just gets bigger and bigger. I had yeah. that once and I and, was wow freaked out by it. Oh, dude, the first time it ever happened to me, believe me, I was home. Everybody was home. It was a mm. whole, like, I didn't wind up in the emergency room, but yeah, I yeah. remember, you know, I think it was my wife called the doctor and he was like, come in right away. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's like, okay, this is what that was. Go see your eye doctor who yeah, was yeah. lucky. It was good. I got to see him that day. And he was like, I can't believe you were not in the emergency room. Yeah, said, yeah. Usually, the first time you have an, an ophthalmic migraine, you wind up in the emergency room because you assume you're having some a stroke or something. Yeah, yeah. I remember so trying when, to. I was sitting at my computer trying to work, and I just yeah. could not. Like there was just, and I was like, "What the fuck?" The spots, the spots, yeah, grow, yeah. they grow, and then you get. Yeah, yeah. Even when you close your eyes, I get little like fireworks are going off. I can see yeah, them yeah. still, you know. So uh-huh. it doesn't matter. Anyway, the point is, you know, I'll get them once in a while, and mm-hmm. I've always been sensitive to the light anyway. But even now, if I have one. I'm a little bit on guard for it happening again. Yeah, yeah. For, for a day or two, uh-huh. I'm super like I'm making sure I have my sunglasses on when I go outside. So yeah, yeah. Feeling I think a bit on edge after vertigo, mm-hmm. probably mm-hmm. pretty normal. Yeah, yeah. It's, point, been a, yeah. it's been a weird couple of days, man. It's been a yeah. weird couple of days. But then I don't know. See, the thing that I'm questioning now is like, did the vertigo thing come on because I've got some kind of virus, or is it an inner ear thing? I was diagnosed with uh, BPPV once, like yeah, benign yeah. paroxysmal positional, positional vertigo. Positional vertigo, yeah. 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 yeah that's a thing. Or is it because I've been doing more, like with the live streams and doing videos and going out more? Like, is it a stress response? So that's something that I, I'm going to see the doctor on Tuesday to try and, yeah. Yeah. you know, see if there's some tests or whatever they can do to try and, because I've never been tested for anything. 
Like yeah. I have this, I have this conversation a lot. Like I've never been. We don't have blood tests over here, or we do, but like yeah, there isn't do, like but... a. There's not a yearly thing where you go and get a health check thing. It's just right. If you want a blood test, you go to the doctors and say, "I feel like crap. Can you do oh, something?" Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I I've mean... never, I've never had blood tests for anything. Like I could be, I could be uh, vitamin B12 deficient, Drew. Huh? It's possible. It's possible. <laughs> I might need some magnesium. Some well, ash, well, ashwagandha. Those. Oh God! <laughs> now you're off the rails. Ashwagandha. Um, well, oh, I mean, that's interesting that you guys don't do that. I mean, not everybody takes it. You know, we're supposed to everybody. We grew up knowing, like, you go to the doctor once and you get a physical. Or like, I think I'm the rare one. I think other people do. Like we've we spoke before. Like I've never. I'm gonna say it, and I probably will tonight. But I've never yeah. called like the ambulance because I'm freaking out. Like you, yeah. you, you went to the ER a few times, didn't you? But I did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I probably and, I will tonight now, but now you're oh, obligated to. You yeah. must because you haven't had the experience. But I mean, maybe. I mean, I I don't really know enough about vertigo. For me, I don't know if it's a stress thing. It seems to happen randomly, like yeah, yeah, and it's true. and it usually happens in the morning. Like I open my eyes, yeah, you know, like enough. go to like turn your head and like oh geez, here we go. The room yeah, is spinning, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's like go back to the way you was. Don't move slowly. Yeah, yeah. Start to move my head. It's it's mm-hmm. no fun, but um. So, but I think otherwise, so we said what comes next. I mean, you are still experiencing that thing where like being home, you're not feeling so great. Yeah. Yeah. As a, which used to be like, you get back home and everything was good. Yeah. 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 And it's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just the after effects of that, because I think it's caused me that much stress in the past when it's happened. Yeah. It's like, although to be fair, like I was, I've been feeling pretty down or just weird. Since hmm. I've since I've really started the exposure stuff, like we talked about it last week, didn't I? That I was, yeah. I was saying about the symptoms and the sensations. Like I'm noticing that I'm feeling it a lot more often at the minute. Whether it's because I'm doing more, I think it might be because, like we've spoke about this in the past, when I've consumed myself with anxiety, like I'm constantly on the forum or I'm looking at other people talking about it. I'm yeah. talking to other people for two hours every Thursday, and hearing their stuff, and you know, maybe it's not. <laughs> Maybe I need to take a step back. That's what I'm thinking. You're probably right. And I think like um, when we're in a bad spot, like almost any stress can manifest. Mm -hmm. Like we get happy anxiety. We get Mm -hmm. mad anxiety. We're sad anxiety. Like stress, like, you know, you have a big project at work or something. Anxiety. Like Uh everything becomes anxiety for us, you know, when you're in that state. So I think, yeah, the fact that you're out there and you've decided, like, screw this, man. I want to be able to do this. I want to get to Florida. I need to get my life back. Mm-hmm. Like, you, that is stress. You are putting yourself under stress. Like, you yeah, have yeah. a big project at work to do. Mm-hmm. And so now you add in, I'm going to stream two hours on a Thursday. I'm going to do video yeah, yeah. through on, fr- on Saturdays. I'm going to spend time on the forums. I'm going to do exposures on video. Like, there, it's demand that's pressing on you. And mm-hmm. I don't think it's unusual that it manifests as anxiety. Yeah, yeah. Like, think about other stressful times in your life when you were just really, maybe really busy with work or whatever projects where you didn't have anxiety. It just felt yeah, like yeah. stress. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's like a, right. Yeah. But now, now it feels like this. Now it feels slightly disorienting, dizzy, and wobbly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it yeah. Sucks. It sucks. But that's probably why. I would not be surprised. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you made the uh, conscious decision, like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to stay in my house. I bet you in a day or two, you'd start to feel better. If you yeah, just yeah, sat on, no if you just sat and yeah, played, yeah, yeah. you know, Xbox, you'd be PlayStation. Fine. PlayStation, sorry. If you, <laughs> I know this is like a holy war. <laughs> you cannot. Yeah, if you just hung out on the PlayStation for the next three days and did nothing but drive your daughter to school and all the things that you're safe doing, you probably start to feel a lot better. Yeah, yeah, I think so. You're taking mm. stress out of your life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, unfortunately, I think that's but not, as you get yeah, better that's, and better. Yeah, that's not what I want to do. Like, I'll, But I, I feel like I want to work on myself for a bit. So, yeah. basically. But that is stressful, and stress manifests as anxiety. Plus, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It doesn't. You know what? Well, let me rephrase that. I and I always include us as us people like us. I'm one of them still, right? Yes. Even though maybe yes. I, I don't. I'm still one of them. And if I'm not careful, I could revert to old habits. So yeah, yeah, yeah totally. I mean, dude, you know, my <clears> phone <throat> would ring and I would have a panic attack. My phone yeah, would yeah. ring and I have a panic attack. So like any stress, anything that would come at me was just like this is not. This I can't handle this. Yeah, and it would go. Anxiety was. I would get dizzy and all that stuff. So I think as you get better. Like, as you get better at being an ASDA, you'll actually feel better all the time. Yeah, yeah. You know. So, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah. But that that's what I want to focus my attention on, because I want to, like, there's so many things that I want to do. Right. 
I don't know whether to say. Yeah, I'm going to say. Like, I want to yeah, go to yeah. Florida. People know that I want to go to Florida. The reason I want to go to Florida is because I want to go and meet somebody in Florida. Somebody that I've been talking to for like a month. My princess, basically. I don't know whether it's a name or not. Yeah, fuck it. It's Tina, basically, that's in this group. Like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So that's that's why I want to work on myself right now. So I think if like doing the streams and doing the additional videos and stuff is hampering my progress personally, yeah. then I think I feel that I need to like step back a bit and yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because that's I, that's the most important thing to me now is like getting yeah. a life, getting a life basically. Yeah. So you can actually do that. Which yeah, yeah is, exactly. Like I could not be happier about that. That's awesome. And second of all, I think, dude, and I think. And anybody who's watching, like, so for you right now, you're working on that stuff and you're doing a lot of exposure work and, but you're also doing this video stuff. So yeah, yeah. that's your life. But for other people, they might be working on things and also being really actively involved in maybe church activities or a social yeah, group yeah. Or, or something. They have other hobbies. Something when you're doing this work and you're immersed in it all the time, something has to give. Yeah. yeah. Like it's not realistic. So. To me, maybe my advice to you as your friend would be, yeah, step back a little bit from the video stuff if you have to. Like, yeah, yeah. the most important thing is the work you're doing on yourself, then the stream mm -hmm. and, and this, this stuff that we do. But yeah, yeah, totally normal. So the advice to other people would be like, you can't, you can't keep yourself loaded up all the time. It's not a good yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, it's bad. Because if I'm not thinking about like doing the stream, then I'm thinking about going out, doing exposure stuff, and then I'm yeah. trying to like I'm really trying to make a conscious effort because I want to meet tina and like she's on yeah. about coming over here and i don't want to i don't want her to have to fly four thousand miles to come and sit in my fucking house you know what i mean not that it's not a lovely house but... well it's all right it's all right but i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to have to tidy up and that so no but i want to i just <laughs> want to do normal things <laughs> you know? no that's that i hear you i hear you so just you just keep working on that stuff and expect to feel like shit sometimes yeah yeah and like back off on some of the other stuff that's optional everybody we all have optional things in our lives so sometimes yeah, yeah. when you're doing this work like you got to get rid of some of the optional things temporarily mm -hmm. or yeah, maybe I might, I might, for, uh, week to week yeah maybe do like the stream once a month or something and just yeah. see what happens and because i do want to do it like it's a massive part of my goal as to what i would love to continue doing it but at yeah. the moment it's just not I feel like I need to just try a few other things and just see if I can make myself feel a bit better. Man. Yeah. Because it's no, not I, very I... nice. Like, doing this is very different, doing these videos with you, because, like, we're just sitting, I can edit some out if I need to get up, walk around, or whatever. Right. But doing the live thing, it's a different kind of pressure. Like, you know what it's like. You've said that you've felt uneasy yeah. doing lives before. Like, it's nobody different. notices, but it, it is, there's a massive, it's weird, man. It's weird. It's different. Yeah, The la one of the last ones I did when I sat down, and mm -hmm. I went up going for almost an hour, so it passed. But when I first sat down, I was feeling very derealized. Like, yeah, yeah. it was just, you know, I had that feeling. And, like, when you're live, what are you supposed to do? Like, sorry, guys, I'm going to end this. Yeah, I could. Yeah. Just I could. started. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then I feel like, wait a minute. Uh, so, anyway. And plus, yeah, then you're tethered for two hours. I'm yeah, like, yeah, and what exactly. am I going to talk about for two hours? I'm like, what yeah, if nobody yeah. calls me? Like, I, uh -huh. it's pretty stressful, I'm going to say. I mean, I can't, can't tell you the number of times that I've heard you say, like, somebody call me. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I'm like, I can't call it's again. Stressful. Can't be the only caller. Like I said, it's a nice idea, but I'm probably not in the best position to do it at the minute. That's what I'm maybe saying. Not, maybe not. Yeah, really. yeah, least, yeah. You know, yeah. But uh, I agree. So I think that's probably why you're feeling the way you feel at home now. You just yeah, yeah, I think so. Stress manifests as that. Yeah, yeah. So just use the tools, even at home. Like I've been telling people, a couple of people, like just even when you're home, use the same tools. You know. Uh -huh. like, all right, just feel that way. All right, I feel like that. Oh well. Yeah, yeah. What's the difference? I don't think you change. You're not changing your routine though because of it, are you? Like in other words, so when you're home, you're still feeling wobbly, maybe even at, at home, but you're not like you're not reacting. It's not like you're changing anything. Yeah, no, I'm still doing. I'm still still doing whatever you're like, yeah, doing. Yeah, still doing the housework. Still yeah, doing cooking the dinners. Still taking my daughter to school every day. So, like, it's exactly. I'm doing exactly the same thing. I'm not avoiding the yep. stuff that I was already doing. Yeah. So. I don't know, but mate, like we should, well, we should probably not touch on this, but like the weather at the minute and like the dark early nights and stuff, it, mm -hmm. I think, I think it affects me a lot more than I actually have noticed before. That's a thing. Yeah. That's yeah. a thing. You know, and it's, sometimes it's so funny when we talk about this stuff, like, um, I think people get this impression that I'm like, I poo poo everything. I shit all over everything. I don't. <laughs> like, seasonal affective order is a thing. It's an action yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It affects people in the Northern Hemisphere like we're in. Mm -hmm. It's dark here by you know, five mm -hmm. o'clock. It's pitch black. 
Cyberpunk in the Because it's like as simple as like I woke up this morning and the sun was shining through the curtains, like it was bright. I came downstairs, I felt really good. And then this afternoon right. it went it went grey, it was raining. And like I noticed that I feel just a bit gloomier about things. Yeah. Like it it might not be that, but I don't know, there's gotta be something in it, man. I, I think there is something in it. And I think the other thing that it does is I remember I found like, and I was doing the hardest of my work in the winter, in the snow and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> that weather just, uh, even if you grew up in, I mean, I'm from here, so I'm used to it. But yeah, yeah. Like, it just makes you feel like it gives you an excuse sometimes. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, it's cold and crappy out. I'm just gonna like lay on the yeah, sofa and like watch stay. a movie. Yeah. yeah. So it yeah, takes yeah. away your motivation, and some people start to literally get depressed by the end of yeah, a long yeah. winter. It's a I thing. think that's that's the I think you've just hit the nail on the head. It's the motivation. It just makes you feel. It doesn't make you feel good about yourself when you look no. out the window and it's right p- pissing it down and it's windy and and it's not giving you a reason to say yeah I want to go out there. Like, I don't yeah, want to yeah. go out there. It sucks out there. Yeah, yeah. Who the hell more wants to go out there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Whereas like in the summertime, it's just a beautiful day. It's you know. It's yeah, yeah. You find yourself eighty degrees, whatever your alien temperatures are, but oh, it could be anything. It could still yeah. be raining. <laughs> But, you know, but it doesn't matter if it's sunny. It's like, oh, I can go to the beach. Like, there's things that you could be mm-hmm. thinking. Even if you're struggling, and we're off the track a little bit, but even if you're struggling and you can't go to the beach, but at least when it's <clears> sunny <throat> out and you know your friends are going to the beach, you could say, oh, I really wish I could go to the beach now. Yeah, but it's, yeah. You know, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. It's dark. It's cold. It's rainy and mm-hmm. gloomy. You're not thinking, like, oh, boy, I wish I could go out now. Nobody's thinking that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... That's right. When the sun's out and that, it makes you feel like you want to go outside. Right. It, even right. if you don't need to. Yeah, Whereas, yeah. like, now that's the difference. Or even if it's it. a challenge for you, at least it's motivation. Like, oh, I wish I could go out and do this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I want to go out and live life. When it's rainy and gloomy and dark, like, yeah, you lose it. that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, but, so, but many people, seasonal affective, seasonal affective disorder is studied all over the place. In, in the Northern Hemisphere, like where we live especially. And it's just, yeah, it's yeah. a real thing. Like, it's a thing. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, don't use that as an excuse, but notice it. I'm not going out. I'm not going out till April. That's, That's it. it. I have seasonal affective disorder. I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. So, but it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, yeah. So, I guess we've kind of run the gamut on this one. Get out and practice long? shopping, people. Yeah, that's it. What are we on? 40 minutes? Just over. Yeah, my phone isn't showing me the timer, so I don't know yeah, how long we've been recording. It's, this about, it's about, about 45. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So I think we'll have to, whoever, I know we have to come up with the topics for the next one. I don't know what that's going to be. Yeah, so I'm, what's today? Today's December 8th. We probably have one one or two of these more that we can squeak in. Yeah, well, we're doing a Christmas edition, aren't we, with the plush Santa hats on? We will have to do. I have a Santa hat somewhere. Because I suppose, yeah. like, how do I deal with Christmas? Because, like, that is a... That's like, huge. You know, why that do is, I, I always come up with these? You people. always come up with the topics. <laughs> we too. always say, everybody comment, leave us your suggestions, but yeah. we're not going to run with any of them. We're going to go nope. with mine, okay? We will completely ignore everything you say <laughs> and talk about what we feel like anyway. <laughs> like, that seems to be the way. Oh, you are the vice president in charge of topics, though, for sure. Like, yes. you come up with them. I think that's that will be our next one, because it'll be December. Today's the 8th, so what? It'll be, you know, I can't do math. Yeah. December 15th. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool. I we'll just flipped you completely around. Yeah, we'll leave that yeah, that'll be good. That'll be. I'm sure that's going to become something now. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. I can see. I can see the wheels turning already. Like, what can I turn that into? But um, yeah, because it totally flipped, and I caught it, man. Yeah, yeah. See. But the Christmas thing is good. The holiday thing, mm-hmm. people get. There's some high anxiety over the holidays. I think because of gatherings, I got to get together with my family. Yeah, yeah, to, exactly. I have to and do then this. I, I guess there's people that are on their own as well that at Christmas, like you both. Know, loneliness. Yeah, yeah both the loneliness or like it leads to depression or the well, I'm, I'm actually i'm doing christmas on my own this year so it, like tell me that yeah it'll be a good it'll be a good podcast for me to be involved in like share my what i think about it because it's going to be weird this year like my family's no this more you know the what first I mean? year yeah, yeah first yeah. year for you right so yeah. because my lad wants to spend christmas with his mum because he's never done that before i've always gone and picked him up like halfway through the day yeah. so he's having he's having the whole day with her so i've said to my daughter like you may as well spend Christmas Day with your mom, and then we'll do ours the day after. Yeah. So it's going to be strange. Well, it's good. We can definitely talk about that, because I think yeah, people yeah. go both ways. Either they get overwhelmed with family obligations and gatherings yeah, and parties, yeah. or they feel alone. Both uh-huh. of those things. Yeah, yeah. Pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. But I think another topic we'll, just, we'll do at one point, because this is coming up a lot lately with the people mm-hmm. that I've been talking to, is that uh and it's you know so comment if you're watching the video if these things resonates with you this thing where people take on carrying burdens i know this sounds like outside of the realm of what i usually talk about but 
Like yeah, you're yeah. carrying burdens that aren't yours to carry. Like uh-huh. So many people seem to have that thing where like, well, I don't want to let people down. That's totally, I get that part. But like, um, you know, I have this party coming up and, and they're, I have to, they get anxiety over like, I must prepare for this party. I must, it's my yeah, daughter's yeah. bridal shower. I'm using real examples from people and you guys yeah, know who yeah. you are, but, and it's like, well, maybe the overriding topic is like, how do I stop thinking that the world revolves around me? Mm-hmm. And I don't mean that mm-hmm. in a bad, selfish way, like yeah, yeah, no, selfish it's... ass, but when in an anxiety state, like you're always focused inside so much that like you relate everything back to you. Like I'm yeah, going to ruin the bridal shower. I'm going to ruin the Christmas uh-huh. party. I'm going to. Like, no, you're not. Like, really? Like, we need to get over ourselves sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so a very selfish be... disorder, man. It really to is... a certain extent. Yeah, yeah. yeah not, it because it, not because you are a selfish person. Yeah, yeah, no. You get so focused inside that yeah, yeah. everything becomes about, like, mm-hmm. how, how what's going to do things to us and how are we going to do things to the rest of the world yeah, by yeah. being this way. Like, mm-hmm. So we maybe we're talking about that one day, too. And if anybody has comments or thinks that's a good topic, just thought about it. I need to come up with a topic too, man. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm waiting. Is this this the fourth one now? Yeah, this is like the fourth one. And I think you had all the four topics. Yeah, yeah. What I'm doing, we hang up. I'm just going to go sit in the dark and think of topics. (laughs) It's like furiously scrolling on, like with a crayon on the wall. My feet. Nice. (laughs) It's like serial killer. Um, Yeah. So I guess we're done. That's it. I think I think we're about done. Yeah. Thanks for watching. (laughs) Yeah. Thanks, guys, as always. I guess we'll see you on next Saturday. And, uh, Yeah, we do, we'll do a watch party on this one, too. I like those. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. I think people enjoy them. Yeah, let's, I think so too. let's just keep them, keep them talking for a minute. Yeah. We'll just sit here silent while people are commenting away. Because they on. do. Comment. The only thing that's, that's stupid about the watch party, and if anybody wants to comment in the watch party, the watch party is, it's a good feature. Um, yeah. But what's weird is that when it ends, like people are in the middle of a discussion and just, and yeah, it's just yeah. gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, uh, the other thing that's really cool is I think it was Donna in the group that uh, came up yesterday, the day before, and she said she wanted to start doing that with like the videos I done with Holly. On the I seen that. Book. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. It's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. a good idea. And you yeah, know, yeah. so we've got a bunch that we've done. I have some uh-huh. little videos. I'm thinking maybe we should think about that. Like, yeah, just make it a regular thing, man. Yeah, like pick a topic and let people like watch yeah, yeah. a video live and discuss it. I think it's it's cool. It's a cool feature. Yeah, yeah. Just that then when one of us decides to end it, boom, the discussion is over. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Good it's night. like we close the pub, right? You don't yep. have to go home, but you can't stay here, people. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a little bit abrupt. Uh, and anyway, so that's the deal with that. Yeah, man. Oh, we'll come up with it. Should I, I stop? Do. Should I stop the recording? I think we can stop recording. I think people have seen enough of us for today. Yeah, I agree. Again, hit that button, and we'll have that awkward moment where we're not sure if it's still recording. Or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good night. God bless. Later. Yes. <laughs>